greetings to every one of you today we are going to discuss another very very important concept in data structures and algorithm that is hashing so hashing is a searching technique so basically we have so many searching techniques available among them the popular methods are linear search and binary search in case of linear search the elements will be given in the random order so if you want to search for a particular element in a given array or memory we have to that is uh, search one after other let us consider you want to search element that is 95 so that can be search right from start from the zeroth location we have to that is go to the next next location and uh, on the sixth location the value 95 is available so the order of search as for linear searching is concerned it is um, big o of n order of n so if you want to that is the uh, search a particular location so number of that number of searching you have to perform so in this case you have to perform seven searching operation this can be that is uh, reduced the time to complexity of uh, linear search can be that is uh, reduced with the help of the binary search in the binary search just uh, will have uh, this number of locations totally there are 10 locations are there this 10 will be that is divided by 2 the first to seek falls on the fifth location if uh, the required value is uh, lesser than this value the search will perform on left hand side if it is greater than this value the per, the, search, the search will perform on right hand side so the order of uh, again the time complexity it is big o of log n so time is considerably reduced and uh, the speed of searching is increased but the ultimate our aim is to getting the order of 1 order of 1 in the sense just the same location you want to retrieve the only in one seek you want to retrieve the data so that can be there is done with the help of um, the hashing let us consider here we have set of values so in which the technique what actually we are following is uh, if the key value the key value is equal to the index value of the array memory the list of values given here 7 4 13 5 3 9 okay so 7 is equal to the index value that is 7 this is a key value so 7 will be stored in seventh location 4 will be stored in fourth location 13 will be stored in 13th location 5 will be stored in fifth location 3 will be stored in third location 9 will be stored in ninth location so let us consider if the value is not available in this list you want to that is check for whether the number 10 the key 10 is present or not directly you can go to 10 and you can verify that the number is not available there you need not perform any kind of uh, the extra seeking and searching operation so the order of um, the searching the time complexity it is big o of 1 order of 1 but there is a problem let us consider you want to that is uh, search an element or a key which is far away from here let us consider 60 so what will happen we have to that is uh, store the value the key 60 in the 60th location so what will happen all these uh, you know the memory locations are get wasted so how to overcome this problem so for that we will use the technique that is a hash function so before that uh, just i will show you how these values can be represented in the hash table let us consider this is the key space in which uh, we have this values that is uh, 7 4 13 5 3 9 these values are that is available these are the keys and uh, this is the hash table this is our hash table 0 1 2 3 4 
these are the index values of um, you know our um, memory it's 12 13 so the values will be that is uh, simply stored in the corresponding the location so 7 will be stored in 7th location and 4 will be stored in 4th location similarly 13 will be stored in 13th location 5 stored in 5th location 3 will be stored in 3rd location then 9 will be stored in the 9th location so this is the hash table so in this uh, you know uh, if if you want to that is store uh, 60 six, value 60 so what you have to do you have to that is extend this uh, memory and uh, all uh, you know the mem the memory space get wasted okay so that is a problem so this can be that is overcome with the help of a hash function so hash function we can make use of the hash function this can be that is a, a resolve so the hash function it is like a, this is a h dash of x is equal to h of that is x mod 10 okay the hashing function is nothing but uh, take the value the key and um, uh, take the modulus of uh, 10 let us consider the same values available here 7 4 13 5 3 9 this is the hash table contain totally 10 locations 5 6 7 8 9 so this is nothing but uh, the size of the array or the size of the hash table okay this is the hash table so totally there are 10 locations are there so what will happen this uh, 7 will be stored in um, the 7th location and um, <coughs> 4 will be stored in uh, the 4th location and 13 so what you have to do that is uh, 13 13 um, that is more 10 it's nothing but 3 the remainder value so 13 will be stored in uh, the third location and 5 will be stored in the fifth location so again uh, this is uh, 3 more 10 so nothing but 3 so what will happen 3 it will be stored in the same third location so what happens 9 will be stored in ninth location so what happens um, on one location the two values we are going to store this is the problem occurred in um, you know this is the method it's called collision the collision is a problem because we cannot store uh, more than one key in one location so this can be avoided with the help of some methods okay one is uh, open hashing and uh, another is uh, closed hashing no open hashing there's a technique available chaining in closed hashing we have two methods that is available linear probing and uh, quadratic probing now let us see how this can be the resident okay so here the collision occurs okay let us see how collision can be resolved using the open hashing which follows a technique called the chaining so here the for the given uh, the equation is given here h dash of h dash of x is equal to h of x plus f of y mod size the size is the size of uh, the total memory locations available in the hash table so for example the first one we are taking this first value it is nothing but um, 7 plus this uh, i takes values from 0 to 0 to n etc n so this is uh, 7 and f of i is equal to this is um, 0 so percentage uh, in this case it is 10 totally we have 10 lo memory location so which is nothing but uh, 7 so what will happen the value 7 will be stored in the not in the location instead it will be stored in the corresponding yeah, linked list a chain will be created and there it will be that is uh, get stored 
then the next value it is 4 it is 4 plus again 0 percentage 10 it is equal to <coughs> 4 only so the value that is a 4 will be stored in the the corresponding the corresponding link list created and similarly 13 13 uh, it is um, 13 plus uh, 0 percentage uh, 10 there is nothing but uh, third location so 13 will be stored in a third location so it will be stored here in the corresponding the location i mean um, link list 13 then um, 5 5 will be the restored the fifth location fifth location in the link list then uh, we have 3 so 3 the value 3 will be the restored in the next location that is the 3 we have um, we have that is um, first 10 it is nothing but third location so what will happen third location will be stored so it will be stored in the next um, the location in the the link list similarly the 9 will be stored in the the corresponding the link list so th this is one method this is one method of uh, resolving collision so instead of uh, storing in the location so that uh, location is linked with um, you know uh, the corresponding uh, a chaining data structure like a date, uh, linked list so the values will be that is uh, stored in that uh, linked list so this is one method the another method is uh, in closed hashing we have uh, two different uh, methods that is available so one is called uh, the linear probing so the linear probing uh, method um, it is uh, just to finding out uh, what is the free location that is available so let us consider um, again we just we use uh, the same th same thing the seven will be that is stored in uh, the seventh location so using the same formula okay so then uh, four will be that is uh, stored in the fourth location and uh, 13 will be stored in third location 13 will be stored in third location so a 13 will be here and uh, 4 is stored here and uh, this is uh, 7 and similarly 5 fifth, uh, value 5 will be stored in fifth location and 9 will be that is uh, stored in ninth location okay then 3 will be stored in third location so here we have we are checking here because uh, you know already 13 is available here in the third location so what you have to do you have to that is check for the next value okay so here what you have to do here in this case so we cannot store uh, this uh, 3 in the third location so what we have to change we have to go for the next i value so next i value it is um, you know next i value it is 3 plus 1 instead of 0 you will have 3 plus 1 that is a uh, it is nothing but the fourth location okay the fourth location find that here also we have a value we cannot store it is not free so again just proceed that um, value with uh, change the i value now i value is uh, 2 so 3 plus 2 it is nothing but um, the percentage 10 it is nothing but uh, 5 the fifth location we will come to fifth location so in the fifth location also we have data okay so again it is not free we cannot store the value so now again increase this i value i value is equal to now 3 so 3 plus 3 mod 10 so now it is equal to 6 so go to the next location it is um, free so now we can store this value 3 here this is a technique what is called the linear probing okay the same um, the function the hash function same hash function is used but uh, we are uh, what is that we got the value only when uh, the i is equal to that is uh, 3 when i is equal to 3 we got the free space okay the same uh, technique can be that is used but in quadratic probing we will have the value of this f of i is equal to i square that is the only difference so everything will be that is uh, same everything will be same so here 
this f of i is equal to i square the same thing okay now um, uh, let us discuss this what uh, the storing of uh, all these elements are same but except uh, this uh, you know this uh, where the collision occurs the 13 and uh, this uh, 3 so problem occurs there only so if you take uh, this uh, 13 okay so um, i mean 3 h of x is nothing but uh, 3 then plus f of i it is 0 percentage um, this 10 is nothing but 3 so in the third location already 13 is available so this is our problem okay collision okay now take i value this is i is equal to in which uh, i is equal to this i is equal to 0 in i is equal to 1 3 plus 1 percentage um, 10 what is the value so it is nothing but uh, you know i is 1 square i square so um, it is um, it is nothing but 4 okay the fourth location also we have data similar i is equal to 2 3 plus 2 square so the percentage it is nothing but um, percentage 10 it is nothing but um, 7 7 so location 7 so what will happen the seventh location find that uh, seventh location also you have data so now i is equal to 3 so i is equal to 3 0 1 2 3 it is um, 3 square 10 so this is 3 and this is 9 so the value is nothing but uh, this is uh, 12 12 mod 10 it is nothing but uh, 2 so what will happen now um, the value will be that is uh, stored in this um, you know 3 will be stored in 3 will be stored in the second location so this is the uh, you know quadratic probing quadratic probing in which uh, this f of i is equal to i square so so far we have discussed about um, what is the hashing and uh, what are the problems that is occurred in hashing that is collision how this collision can be that is avoided one is uh, open hashing and another is um, the closed hashing in closed um, in open hashing we have uh, a technique called the chaining in closed hashing we have a technique called the linear probing and uh, quadratic probing so i gave uh, examples sufficient examples i hope um, you understood uh, the concept thank you